Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the Claisen condensation. I'm going to focus mostly on the, the mechanism of the Claisen condensation, though I will share uh, uh, some discussion about cross... Well, no, I'll, just, I'll save all the cross Claisen condensation stuff for the next video. The Claisen condensation is related to the aldol reaction, which I covered in my previous video, uh, in which now, instead of having aldehydes and ketones, we have esters. We have a base, they react, one is a nucleophile, one's an electrophile, but the outcome is a little bit different because where aldehydes and ketones tend to undergo nucleophilic uh, addition reactions, esters can undergo substitution reactions. And so you get a slightly different outcome and you need uh, some acid here to make this behave. So. First thing I want to note is that it's a, that base choice is important for the Claisen condensation. You either need, you know, you have your ester, you either need your base choice your al as an alkoxide anion to match the identity of the alkoxy group. Um, and this this is important because this makes substitution side reactions uh, basically meaningless. They're not going to you know, remember that esters are electrophiles that undergo substitution reactions. Alkoxide anions are nucleophiles. If we'd used hydroxide, for example, we would also be hydrolyzing esters as this reaction went on, and we don't want to do that. If I used a different alkoxide, I'd be transesterifying esters. Uh, right left or the the other alternative is to use a much stronger base like lithium isopropyl amide uh, and we'll talk about that as, a, as an approach in the cross Claisen video let me go grab my reaction just like in the aldol reaction one uh, I don't need the sodium out here. One molecule of ester gets to be the nucleophile and it gets deprotonated by our base. And so now we have uh, enolate anion, my conjugate base of ethyl acetate. Uh, the other molecule of ethyl acetate hangs around as an electrophile. And then, you know, enolates are nucleophiles, esters are electrophiles, esters react with electrophile, ele react with nucleophiles at their carbonyl compound. First, by doing something that looks like an addition reaction to form a tetrahedral intermediate. and then followed by loss of leaving group to get the substitution product. And it would be tempting to stop here because after this first loss of, after this substitution step, we have the product that we know is the product of this reaction. However, this product is acidic relative to the reaction medium and gets deprotonated. And in fact, it's this proton transfer step that prevents further uh, nucleophilic substitutions from occurring on the Claisen product because now it's deprotonated and it's resistant to further nucleophilic attack. And so this requires acidic workup, and it really does require acid, not just uh, not just water, because the pKa of the corresponding acid is around 
11, we need a, oops, that was weird. We need an acid here, not just, uh, not just water, okay. So the proton transfer step, the addition of the, the aqueous acid for work up is really important. If you were given the structure of a compound that was made through the Claisen condensation, so let me draw something for you. You can dissect this structure much like you can an aldol product to identify what ester was used to synthesize this Claisen product. The part of the molecule that still has the ester in it is the part that has to be the nucleophile. The other part is the electrophile. And this, this will be important in the next video as well. The other part will be the electrophile. And so the nucleophile actually looks like the original ester, it's, but it, you know, it's been deprotonated. And the electrophile looks like the original ester, except the alkoxy group has been substituted by the nucleophile. And so here is our ethyl phenyl acetate, uh, which is the, the ester that went into this Claisen reaction. In the next video, I'm going to talk about the, uh, the cross Claisen reaction. So the, the outcome when you have more than one ester and how you can control that. Thank you for watching.